Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about an app called Aura. Now, Aura is a project management app that came out last year. I've been using it a little while now. Well, every single day, if I'm being honest, I'm a little obsessed with it. But I wanted to tell you guys just why I think you should be using Aura on a daily basis for your projects. <music> So Aura launched on Product Hunt on May 12th of 2017 and was rated third product of the day. I've been using Aura ever since June 12th, 2017, so a month later, uh, and I have been absolutely loving it ever since. Um, I've used many other product management apps in the past, such as Trello, but was never really happy with them. Um, don't get me wrong, I still think Trello is a powerful app and a great solution for many people. However, Aura has improved on several things that these other apps lack. So the main reasons why I love Aura and why I choose it over other apps is first, the design, and second, the features. I honestly use Aura every day for my business and creative projects, as well as for my personal projects. So before I dive into Aura, I just wanna quickly go over some of the ways that Aura differs from Trello. And if we click into an example project here that Aura provides for you when you sign up, now, as you can see, the columns are a little bit wider than the columns that are in Trello, um, which is nice because it allows the titles to have a little more breathing room. And as you can see here, you can also apply color to the top headers of each column, which is really nice. And if we click on a card here, I also think Aura's card view just looks much better than Trello's. It feels more like a full project, whereas Trello's card view just feels like an afterthought. Um, you know, these cards are where you're gonna be spending most of your time in any project management type app. So it does matter how these cards look and interact with you and your team. Or also lets you view these cards as just regular old tasks in a to-do list type view. Um, if you wanna to get to that, you have to go into um, settings, activate list view by clicking on that and you can choose which one is the default. X out of the settings. And as you can see at the top here, we have the uh, option to switch between the views. So yeah, just click on that list view and I'll skip this tour here. And as you can see, um, you now have this, um, these cards, these same exact cards that we saw earlier in the Kanban view. They're now in this, you know, really simple um, to-do list type view. Now, you know, this can be more appropriate for certain projects and some people just prefer this type of view which is actually great for teams who, you know, might disagree on which app to use for their projects. So this is a great way to, um, you know, use one app for everyone on the team and let some people choose the list view and let others choose the Kanban board view. Aura also lets you use custom icons for each project, whereas Trello just shows you the background image or color as the project icon on the board's dashboard. You can just change that by clicking on the project settings and then you can click right here to upload an image. So Aura also has separate views for task planning and reports, plus many more features, which I will show you in just a little bit. So in my opinion, in terms of just design, I think Aura looks more modern and friendly. Every element on the page has been clearly intentionally designed by Aura's team, and the default color schemes they provide are actually pretty fantastic. And you'll get more of a feel of what I mean as we go about this video. So now I'm gonna show you guys just some basics of Aura as I move about Let's click on the uh, projects dashboard and I've created a test project here. I'm gonna click and open that and I'm gonna go into the board view. And as you can see, I got some nice colors here for um, the headers of each column. Now, one of the really powerful things about Aura, which I love, is just the simple ability to just duplicate an entire project. You do that by clicking this gear icon and going down to duplicate project. And we'll just call this, I don't know, uh, apartment. We'll duplicate that and now we're in the apartment project and as you can see all the columns in the column colors and even the uh, projects icon have all stayed the same so why don't we create some cars real quick um, do the dishes vacuum the rug clean kitchen floor replace air conditioner. So I got those four example tasks in here. Um, of course, you could use Aura for your business or your um, development team task. I'm just using personal tasks here because um, Aura, you know, it could be used for either or, you know, you really don't have to use Aura for business related stuff. 
Um, I, I use Aura for my personal stuff as well. So either or, it doesn't really matter. You know, just like Trello, Aura also has tags. Um, what's really nice is you can actually use multi-selection to make your life a lot easier. So um, I'm just gonna click on this one task here. And then I'm gonna click on label. I'm gonna create a new label. And I'm just gonna write chore. And we'll keep that red, click that create button. So now this task has the chore label. And if we X out of here, I can hold down my shift key and click on these two tasks and they'll be highlighted blue. And if you notice at the top of my header here, I now have these options of what I can do with those multi-selected tasks. So it says two tasks selected. Um, and so we're just gonna add that chore label to those other two tasks as well. As you can see, that label was also added to those tasks. So, you know, this might not seem like a big deal when you just have a couple tasks in your list, but imagine if you have, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 tasks in here. So maybe they already even have labels, but you just wanna change their labels or add more labels to them or, or change your whole system up. The simple ability to multi-select and make changes is super powerful. And if you notice, if we go back and we click on these again, um, you can change the task type, the milestone, due date, assign them to other people, move them to another project and archive them. So honestly, really powerful stuff. And you know how I mentioned that personal task view earlier? I'm gonna show you that. So to get these cards or tasks into your personal view um, to plan your day and your week, you have to make sure the tasks are assigned to yourself. So, so why don't we use the multi-select again and assign them to me. And if we click over here on my tasks, So you either can click on inbox or you can click on plan my week. So yeah, this is really nice because um, say you have a lot of cards and you have a lot of cards from multiple projects, it can get a little hectic. I have quite a few projects in my account and um, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot. So to be able to have this other view here where you can just look at the things that you want to get done today or the coming week, it's really powerful because it really cuts away the clutter. You can choose what's in here, what's not in here. And you know, say you have a lot of stuff in this inbox list, um, you could just put in what you wanna do for today and you can just click over here to the today view and boom, there you go. You don't have to look at even the stuff that's over there on that inbox column. Really powerful way to just kind of clear your mind, clear your head and escape all those other tasks that you really don't need to focus on currently. And you can actually, um, when you click on the task, you can actually get to the card window from clicking on it but why don't we go back to um, our project settings. Let's go back to our projects dashboard. Um, let's go back to apartment and let's click on the settings by clicking this gear icon. And I just wanna show you what, I just wanna show you all the other features that we can add or remove from each project in Aura. So the nice thing about Aura is you can actually turn on and off features that you may or may not need. Um, this is really powerful, and Aura comes with a lot of stuff built in, believe it or not. Now, apps like Trello obviously have things like power-ups or integrations and all that, which is great, you know, they have a lot of flexibility with that. But the thing about Aura is, is that a lot of these really commonly used features just come with Aura just straight out of the box. But if you don't need them, or if you feel like they're really kind of cluttering your interface, you can just turn them off. So, you know, obviously you saw earlier that I turned on the list view. Um, I can turn that off, say I don't need that. Um, then there's pipeline workflow here. So pipeline workflow is mainly used for like web development, but you could totally use it for other things if you wanted to. Um, so, you know, frozen, open, review, close, you know, just kind of the state of the task. Um, we can also turn that off if you don't want that. Um, they also added recently sprints, um, which is another um, feature used heavily in web development for teams that use the Scrum methodology. And if we scroll down here, they have a lot of other stuff. Um, you know, we have visible task IDs, which is something that developers might need. Um, milestones, which is another thing for developers. Task types, you know, another thing for developers, but once again, you can still use that for other things that are not development related. Um, you know, is it a bug feature or a chore? Um, task relationships. Um, basically, that just means that if um, you need to get one task done before another, um, or it will make sure that you don't do the second task before the first task that needs to get done. It'll let you know that one is being blocked by the other. 
And then uh, time tracking, which is my one of my favorite features that Aura has and probably something that I use every day. Um, it's just a great way to track your time and to kind of look back and see how much work you put into things and maybe maybe to see if you're putting too much work into things. For obvious reasons, they have time tracking for um, people that are, you know, doing freelance projects and things like that. And then they have uh, tasks and comment privacy, team chat, project timeline for like, you know, to make it public. Maybe your clients want to see where you're up to. And then there's invoicing also for client freelance work. So yeah, Aura definitely has quite a bit of tasks that come right out of the box here. You may not want to use all of these um, if you're not in web development or freelance, but it's just nice to have um, just in case maybe down the road you decide to pick up programming or maybe you are a programmer, but maybe you're not working on anything right now. And maybe down the road you might decide to do some kind of freelance project or maybe you get hired at a tech company or maybe you even start your own app. Um, and, you, and you need an app for your team to use. Well, I mean, you know, if you're already using Aura for your personal projects, you might as well just, you know, add all your business projects and all your um, development projects right in Aura. So yeah, um, one of the other things that's really cool, you turn back on that pipeline workflow, is if you put a task in the review column, you notice a little question mark there. Um, so if we click on that card, it has this blue header at the top of the card view. And so you're able to set up that card to be approved or rejected, which is really nice if you're working with people, the project manager has to approve the task, or maybe just you just wanna have someone else on your team look it over first. It's really great, um, you know, you don't have to use this for web development. You could totally use this for like photography or cinematography or, or you know, writing a book or a blog post or social media. And honestly, this would be just useful for like really any kind of content if you're working with someone else or a team. And of course, there's that reports page that I mentioned earlier. Um, there's not really gonna be anything in here um, because this is just a test project and I haven't really done anything. But um, you can look at your track time, your task progress, and your sprints review. Yeah, just really powerful stuff. It really just kind of gives you, it just gives you an overview of your progress and allows you to plan ahead, which is really powerful if you're working with a team and you have deadlines. And if you're feeling a little confused on the things that you can create on Aura, Aura has this nifty little slider on their homepage. It allows you just to click around and for different examples they have here, to do list, idea board. Billable time tracking, issue tracking, agile Kanban, engineering QA, scrum and time tracking, just to give you some examples of the types of projects that you can create using Aura. I just want to quickly mention some more features. Aura also has subtasks, mentions, attachments, notifications, comments, repeating tasks, code highlighting, and markdown compatibility. And finally, Aura works great with Slack. I've been using Aura with Slack since I signed up, and it's just a great way to keep everybody on your team in the loop. Hey guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be putting out a lot more videos related to apps. Some of these apps you may not know, some of them maybe you do know, but either or, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be covering a lot of stuff very soon, and you definitely don't wanna miss anything. Anyway, in the meantime, I will see you guys very soon. Thank you.